Wow. <laughs> Afternoon. Someone put me on to Lowell Solicitors, who are featured on this channel previously. These are the ones that work with this, this bulk business court in Northampton. And you suddenly find a CCG on your uh, credit file, even though there's no court case or anything, no judge. You're not allowed to give a defence. Um, sometimes I send forms out. These financial ones, you know, you fill in your income and your outgoings and your... But I rather think that's just so they can decide how much money they're going to have with you. Um, some people haven't had forms. Some people have gone to get a loan for a holiday or a car or something like that. And they found out they've got a CCG on the go. It's in the paper. A good few months back, actually. Um, so they sent me this. Which is... Oh, by the way... This is about a tenth of Lowell. This is what I was saying last weekend when I needed more printer ink. <laughs> um, that's just Lowell and a company called Fredrickson. There's about 75 other fucking companies all tied in with them, all at the same address. Uh, which is in Leeds, by the way. Now, this is an interim permission consumer credit register. And on here, it says that Lowell's current status is lapsed. Now, I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I don't think it's good for them. Um, what it says here on the Financial Conduct Authority official web page, if a firm... Oh, God. These fucking contact lenses. Held an, an OFT license. To, basically, they're not allowed to do what they're doing. <laughs> I can't fucking read that now. I could upstairs. Um, did not replace, did not uh, register for interim permission. It cannot legally continue carrying out consumer credit activities. Um, and must stop. There you go, must stop. Until it is authorised to do so, something like that. So, they're lapsed. So, I don't know, I haven't heard from Lowell for a while. But I don't know what their status is, but I presume they're still pretending that they can um, collect debt. So anyway, I started looking into... This is incredible. This is absolutely fucking incredible. I don't know if you can... You won't... This will come out backwards. But that's... Um, all their directors. No, sorry, that's... Uh, this is a guy called Mr. Dominic Patrick Briggs. That's all the comp... That's the companies that he's involved in. There's three fucking pages of it. Some of them have got four pages. Some of them have got five pages. This is all the companies are directors of. It's fucking incredible. Some are dissolved. Um, I just need to find... Here we, actually, here we go. This is... Uh, Here's the directors. Right, I mean, you probably wouldn't be able to see that anyway because that blue type doesn't come out well. So there's Mrs. Sarah Louise Leckenby. She's the director, director, but Ms. Sarah Louise Leckenby is also company secretary. And she pops up once or twice. And just recently, just in the last year, there's another guy, because she came back in 2016 again. But there's another guy taking over now. As secretary. So 
So let me, I'll just pick a guy at random. This is Mr. Michael Gerard Lynn Jones. Get ready for this. Low portfolio for Holdings Limited, Lowell Solicitors Limited, Lowell Portfolio Limited. Well, that's Portfolio 4 Limited, uh, Lowell Funding Limited, Lowell Acquisitions Limited, Lowell Portfolio 3 Limited, Lowell Portfolio, oh sorry, Lowell Holdings Limited, SRJ Debt Recoveries, I'm going to go into some of the other ones in a minute. Lowell Portfolio Holdings Limited, Lowell Portfolio One Limited. These are all different companies. These are all different fucking companies. And they've all got, and I looked at Fredrickson. Fredrickson are nasty bastards. Um, very, very vicious sort of approach to collecting debt. Based at the same address as Lowell, of course. This is Nine Savannah Way in Leeds. Um, and they it started out, I thought I'd see the same names, which I did. On the last two pages, directors, the first two pages, completely different fucking people. Um, Lowell Group Limited, Lowell Financial Limited, there's Fredrickson, Takato, now that's an interesting one, um, Lowell's Finance Limited, and Interlaken Group Limited. And that's just fucking some of them. There's more, some of them have got other companies completely. So I thought, right, I mean, trying to please, please do not try to tell me that's not a fucking stitch up and they are just changing the fucking companies like a fucking shell game. So I thought, right, for all, I wonder, where's that Fredrickson one gone? Fredrickson, this was Fredrickson, and I, I printed out all their, their, their financial info by mistake. But again, they've got about four pages of fucking directors. Again, a lot of the same names. I'm going to keep all this and send it to um, the Office of Fair Trading, or whoever it is, or Financial Conduct Authority. Right, Interlaken Group Limited, holding company. One of its directors was not a person, no. It was Lufmer Limited. Firm was one of its directors. <laughs> That's now inactive. And one of its secretaries was called Semken. Another firm. Semken has 3,070 3, resigned directorships. Semken, the firm, which is pretending to be a secretary, has 3,070 resigned directorships. <laughs> SRJ debt recoveries not trading but not inactive and that's all there was on them I mean I'm not I could spend hours finding out everything about them but there's, there was so many fucking firms this is this, just, this is just the tip of the fucking iceberg uh, Metis Bidco Limited now this was only on a couple of their because I printed out the individual directors' firms. It was only on a couple of them. Purchase and recovery of non-performing consumer debt portfolios. The fuck that means, I have no idea. Takato. One of its directors, sorry, the company's secretary, was Office Organisation and Service Limited. That's gone inactive. Both of these have gone inactive March 2004. Its director was Peregrine Secretarial Services Limited. <laughs> it's just fuck. It's incredible. And I knew this would be a lot of work. And really, I could spend days going through all this and cross-referencing it. There's actually just too much stuff to cross-reference because so many of them have got their fingers all stuck in the same fucking pies. And then in other things. And fucking, Do you know what I mean? You'd need one of these big boards like the police do when they're solving a crime, if they ever solve crimes. 
you know, but they have the name of the main suspect in the middle. And then they have all the... And I'm, I'm not getting into it, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I mean, by all means, any of that stuff, just Google it. It's all there. Most of it I'd got off a site called Company Checker. Um, now, I've had a firm before because Huntingdon District Council have a secret company called Huntingdon District Council, which operates out of the town hall in St. Ives. On Company Checker, but it's not on Government House website. So I would advise not looking for any of those firms on Government House because they might not be there. Um, go to Company Checker, and especially if you have dealings with these people, do bear in mind that Lowell may well be operating unlawfully just now because they have had their license possibly revoked. That's about it for today. So I hope this might have helped some people, because I hate the bastards as much as you do. <laughs>